Hey everyone, um, it's Pixel Cadet right here, still in my laundry room. Um, today I would like to share with you about my recent build. Um, and this build, particular build, requires this small little spirally thing right here. Um, it's called Wind Up Spring. Um, it's interesting to me because this object is rel relatively thin and small. But when you wind it up, it can actually store um, quite an amount of power to move something. Um, I discovered this mechanism when um, I stumbled upon this video about um, how a wind-up toys, uh, how does a wind-up toy work? Um, wind-up toys uh, is this type of toy that I found quite a lot when I was a kid. Normally it's a car or a robot and it has a dial and when you turn the dial or when you wind it up and release the spring inside it will generate some power and when it's connected to a series of gear it will you know um, move the toy uh, forward or you know uh, gives power to the toy to do some action. I'm curious about how the whole mechanism works so I decided to build myself my own um, wind-up toy and this is the wind-up toy that I made. It's a weird looking horse with a small uh, knight holding a lance riding on top of it. Um, and if you can see, this is the dial that you can turn to wind up the toy. And when you release, the whole thing will move forward. The reason uh, why I made, a, why I designed the wind-up toy like this, it's not a car or a robot, rather it's just a horse with a knight holding a lance on top of it, which is, um, I thought most of the wind-up toys that I had when I was a kid or that I knew, and um, their goals of, the goals of that toy is mostly is just like to wind it up, release and see it moving, right? And there is no added layer to that. And therefore I thought maybe it could be cool if I can add another mechanism or another layer on top of it. So I was thinking, right, um, maybe it could be cool if um, I attach uh, something and then, you know, create a wind-up toy that not only move, but we can also play, uh, play with it or play against each other. That's why I came up with this design that instead of a car or, um, or a robot, the wind-up toy that I created is actually a, a knight riding a horse, a tiny knight riding a horse, and the, the knight's ready with his lens to joust. And when you have two of it, then you can play um, them against each other and see when you release, uh, when you wind them up and then release, you can see if knights can joust at each other and whether the attack lands. Also, um, the knights that it's riding on top, um, it's actually not glued to the horse and you can always like um, release it like this. And the idea here is that when the attack lands, maybe with, the, with enough force and um, speed, maybe it can, you know, topple off and fall down so that, you know, you can make like a small competition of who will um, um, strike and topple um, uh, the opposing knight the most or something like that. Honestly, there is not really much uh, rules uh, behind it or I haven't really thought about like a solid um, game rule or mechanism, but I just made this for fun. And again, the goal of this is actually I want to learn more about the about how a wind-up toy works. But I think it's pretty cool um, concept that I created just for testing. Um, also, small little de de details here is um, this tiny knight has also a helmet that you can take off and put back on. Just, I think, just like uh, tiny details that I like. And in this video, I would also like to share with you the step-by-step um, assembly process of the toy um, and then later on we will also see um, these toys in action and anyway uh, enough rambling I guess please enjoy the montage of 
the assembly. See you in a bit.
So that was the video, guys, of the assembly um, and also um, footage of how these two things can go at each other. Um, in hindsight, I just realized um, the old black horse is actually pretty bad for, um, for um, how should I say, um, pretty bad color to show uh, assembly process. Uh, some of the parts there is quite hard to see. I apologize for that. Um, and on top of that, when I test this, when I test this toy out with my fiance, I realized that um, I think the angle of the lens are still too straight and it's still too parallel with the whole build, with the horse and everything. So I think they will always hit at each other like this. So I was thinking, right, when I did some research again, how of how just uh, jousting tournament uh, actually works. Um, turns out it's like the horse are not face the both parties of the horse of or the knights are not really facing uh, right in front of each other, but they're more like um, like so. It's angled and it's actually the the lens that is like um, pointed a bit in angle. Um, out towards the enemy so based on that maybe next step that I would uh, do is actually to somehow work on it and when I shared um, this uh, problem before in my blog entry video that I've done last week um, I got a really nice comment about making a, some sort of hinge uh, on the main of the horse so that you know that uh, so that the knight that is holding the mane right here can also be rotated to angle the jousting to whatever uh, you want and you know maybe by tilting it to a some uh, degree it will increase the chance of um, it will increase the successful it will increase the chance of a successful attack that's what I'm trying to say um, so yeah, that's that's uh, my main takeaway from this build. Um, all in all, I really like um, how it all came along together. And yeah, let me know what you think of this um, wind up night jousting toy. It's it's a it's a how should I say this? It's a it's a it's mouthful. The name is just too long and weird. Maybe I should come up with something simpler. If you guys have any um, um, suggestion, please let me know in the, in the comment below. Or if you guys have any ideas or reference that I can use uh, that has something to do with one-up toy, I would be also really appreciate that. And yeah, that's my video for today. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you also like this type of uh, thing, toy making, 3D printing, weird stuff, um, someone rambling or stuttering <laughs> consider subscribe to my channel anyway see you around bye bye gp ah Booty, move, move. <laughs>